What you guys got another video here for you now if you've ever wanted to get your hands on microsoft office but you don't want to pay for it then you can actually download it and install it and use it for free in 2020 you can download it from the microsoft website or you can download it from the microsoft store and that's what we're going to be doing in this video so now we're inside the windows store here what we're going to do is go up to the search box and we're going to do a search for office now office inside here will allow us to download the online version of office which means we can uh, use the full-blown version of microsoft office so we can see here we've now inside the, the windows store here and there is no office here so go over to the right hand side and click on show and then show all and this will then open up and it should give us the full search results and right down here you will see there is a version called office so we can now click on this and this will then give us the option to download the microsoft corporation uh, office suite here which is the microsoft office and you can download this for free so you can just click on get and once we get this we can now use this across your devices and say sign in and this means you'd have to put in your microsoft account details i'm going to say no for now and i'll log in a little bit later on we can now click on launch and this will download the little uh, installer that we need once we've got that we can either click on this launch or this one down here and this will then greet us with this box here which will ask us to either create an account or sign into an original account which we've already got now depending on uh, what you've got here if you haven't got an account just create one you just need a, a legitimate um, email account and uh, away you go so i'm going to sign into my account here because i've already got an account with uh, microsoft and i'm going to log in to that so let me just drop this down here and log in via this method here which is uh, via that first option that i showed you here so if you want to get a new email account you can actually sign up for a new email account here as well if you don't have an email account so either way you will be able to get in and use this uh, piece of software for free okay so let's go ahead and go back and sign in here i'm just going to drop the back window down here so back to that original window we've got so you can either go into workplace or school account and we're going to go into microsoft account here click continue and then all we need to do here is this will open up the sign in option and go into here and put in your email account that you've just created so let me just go ahead and uh, type that in you still get the option to create one here if you want to and if you've forgotten your username or your password you can use their reset facility here it's pretty straightforward and easy to do so i'm just going to quickly log in and click sign in and it will say use this account everywhere on your device and you can say microsoft apps only or you can click next and let it use this account everywhere i'm just going to go for the microsoft apps only for this video so i'm just going to click on this one because i do have a full a legit version of microsoft office 2019 i'm just showing you how you can do this for free now once you get this it will tell you go premium with office 365 and it will tell you exactly what you get if you want to go premium you don't have to you can still use the current plan which is your office online plan which gives you three gigabytes storage on your onedrive and you can sign in and use this on your pc so you can still use this for free and you get all of the applications that you will need uh, to do all your work on so let's go ahead and just skip through this little tutorial bit here and we can close that off and it will say do you want to pin office to your taskbar you can say yes or no it's entirely up to you i'll say yes here and this is it we are now looking at our office suite here now if you go to click on install office thinking you can download it and install it it's going to ask you for uh, the premium key which you're going to need so you're going to need to have a key a legitimate key to get that okay and i've shown you how to do that in the past but this is for the free version okay which is an online version so here we've got all of our tools that we want here we've got outlook we've got onedrive we've got word excel powerpoint onenote calendar to do and all your other apps are there also 
So let's go ahead and open up the document inside Word here and we'll take a close look at what it actually does. There you go. So let's just skip through this bit here. This is just telling you how to save your documents and things like that. You can share them and also you've got a bunch of other stuff here like dictate just as you would on a normal office suite here. You've got full access to this software here, which is very useful if you don't want to spend any money on an expensive Microsoft Office suite. Now, of course, having that full blown Microsoft Office suite does give you a few extra privileges which you won't get with the online version, but you will actually be able to use this as you can see I'm doing here. No problems whatsoever. Now for most people, this is going to be all you need. Most people are not going to need the full blown office suite, which is going to cost you an absolute fortune to buy. So if this is all you need, then by all means, go ahead and sign up and use it. It's very easy to do. As you can see here, we've got full access to all of the features as you would with any other type of program. So let's go ahead and, and take a look at another piece of software that they've got. You can click on these little dots up in the top left hand side here, and this gives you access to OneDrive and also uh, Excel and other software inside their suite or package here. You can see here we have now got Excel here. We can open this up and there you go. You've got full blown control of Excel. Let's take a look here some other stuff you got PowerPoint and you got Skype here and you've got other bits and pieces on here as well like Outlook and things like that so depending on what sort of level you want to use it for this is ideal for most people I would say to just create a document or you know basically create an Excel spreadsheet or PowerPoint slideshow or something like that you can do it with this piece of software. Very simple and easy to do. Now you do get full access to all the templates and things like that as well. So you can also open up uh, templates inside uh, PowerPoint and uh, Word and other ones like that. You can see here, this is just a blank uh, screen we got here. We can go ahead and click on one of the templates on the right hand side here. And this will open up the template inside here, just like so. Now my internet seems to be going really slow lately and that's because probably everyone's at home using the internet and it seems to be slowing down, especially at the weekends. So it seems a little bit sluggish today. But yeah, you've got uh, the templates here which you can use. You've got slideshows, you can create all your animations and stuff like that inside here. You've also got Outlook. Uh, if you want to have an email account where you want Outlook, you can set that up as well. On here, very simple and easy to do. Uh, and again, this gives you full uh, access to all the uh, application itself, albeit online. So pretty decent package if you ask me. Anyway, I'm going to close out of this. I think that's going to be about it for this video. If you do want to open it back up again, you can just click on the icon there and it will open up straight away just like this and you can use it. Okay. Anyway, that's going to be about it for today. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you found this video useful. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Take care and stay safe. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.